one? That's sometimes how I think surgeons are when you walk into their office. They're like, they're like rubbing and they're seeing you that way because that's the only way that I think that they can, consci with consciousness, yank out, butcher people's organs. Not that we're not complicit. Not that we're not complicit. We have responsibility here. And the gallbladder is a primary area of distress because it's a fat absorption structure. And do not let anybody ever tell you you don't need a gallbladder. You need one very badly. There's nothing you don't need. There's no extras. There's no spares. They're all in there. They're all in there for a reason. And the gallbladder is a major fat absorption structure. It stores bile. And after blood and lymph, bile is the third most important fluid in your body. And without a gallbladder, you are seriously bile distressed, which means you're not going to absorb your fats. Now, you don't have to have a gallbladder problem. You can have a liver problem. And 80 million Americans have fatty liver, except they don't call it fatty liver now. They call it NAFLD. Anybody hear NAFLD? NAFLD, this is the latest acronym disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, right? Non-alcoholic. Now, why do they call it non-alcoholic? To distinguish it from the kind of fatty liver disease that you used to have to be drinking a pint of Jack Daniels every day to get. Today, we're all getting it. Today, it's our own personal cirrhosis of the liver, basically. And the whole point is, is that we are breaking down at the level of fat absorption, which means focusing on your body's ability to grow fats is critical. It's job number one. Fats tell the body, from an evolutionary biology standpoint, that you just killed an animal and it's summertime on the African savanna. That's when you have fats. You have fats when life is good. And this is, remember, we got to tell the body everything's okay. Fats tell the body everything is okay. And what you'll notice here when I talk about cholesterol, how the scheme about cholesterol being bad for you, I tell you, I tell you about the sun, the scheme about the sun being bad for you, the scheme about fats being bad for you, it's almost like there's a war on our humanity. Yes. You understand this? Everything that makes us grow, everything that makes us satisfied, everything that makes us relaxed, you don't want to go out in the sun. Yeah, you don't need any of that sun stuff. Cholesterol, bad. Don't stay away from cholesterol, right? Everything, fat, low fat. You don't want any fat, low fat. Are we healthier on low fat? Are we healthier on the, when we stay out of the sun? Are we healthier when we don't watch our cholesterol and all that? No, no, and no. We're not. So clearly we have a problem with the, the model, and I'm not going to say it's a conspiracy, but it sure looks pretty nasty. Fat, it, <laughs> fat, I'm in good company. I could say it's, I don't, you know, I don't want to go out, I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to go there. The point is it's, that it's up to us. Fat tells the body you're satisfied. But we don't absorb fats as well as we can the same, for the same reason that when you're washing your dishes at home, what's, what's harder to get off of the dishes? Is it the oil and the grease or is it the jelly and the water-soluble material? The, obviously, it's the oil and the grease. Oil and grease is sticky. It's hard to process. It's hard to digest. So when the body, when the digestive system breaks down, it breaks down most especially at the level of fat absorption. Without fats, you don't grow. You don't repair. And I can always tell somebody who's not absorbing fats because they look shriveled. That's right, they look shriveled. They're starting to shrivel up because collagen and protein depend on fats for their growth because, as I said earlier, you cannot grow protein without fat. Especially the fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamins D, E, A, and K, which is why you gotta get on the Ultimate Daily, which is the E, D, A, and K, the fat-soluble vitamins. You need to focus on fat-soluble vitamins because, again, they're not in food, and if you combine fat malabsorption, you're gonna become deficient in fat-soluble vitamins as well. The last and probably the most important uh, of our micronutrients is the minerals. The minerals. The minerals are the most fundamental of all and they're also the most fundamentally defective in terms of our intake because they're not in the ground. Everybody who says, oh, I just eat my vegetables, just eat your four food groups, the problems start with the earth. They're not in the ground and you don't know what you're getting. Doc Wallach is going to talk about this tonight. You don't know what you're getting when you eat your carrots and you eat your peppers and you eat the foods that are supposed to have the minerals, which is why you have to get on the Mighty 90. It's not going to come, it's not going to come from the vegetables. Vegetables have phytonutrients in them. And by the way, the phytonutrients, you guys know what I mean when I say phytonutrients, plant nutrients that everybody loves so much, those are fatty. So if you have a liver problem or a gallbladder problem or a small intestine problem, you're not absorbing fats, you're not going to get those phytonutrients. You'll, the phytonutrients are one component, but the minerals, the minerals, the minerals, they're not in the soil, they're not in the plants, which is why 
you need to get on a mineral supplement. It's, it's, your Mighty 90 is your mineral supplement more than it's anything else. It's a mineral supplement and that's how you want to look at it and that was Dr. Wallach's genius. He noticed, he noticed that animals would lick the salt and they would get better. Basically, they would lick the salt and they would get better. And I didn't know this, I'm from New York, I was blown away, salt licks, they got blocks of minerals sitting, sitting right in the, right in the uh, fields, blocks of minerals. Colloidal minerals are your blocks of minerals. That's your, that, if you get nothing else, get the EFAs and get the uh, Ultimate Classic or the Tangy Tangerine, it's two products. It's two products. And if you don't feel better, if you don't feel better in a month, you call me up and I, I'll tell you how to, I, I'll, first of all, I don't think it, uh, it's gonna happen, but if you don't feel better, I'll come out and do, I'll do another talk just for you personally. <laughs> you can have your friends sit in the living room. If you don't get better though, don't lie either, because I know you get better. All right, all right, so. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. It's your key to wellness. The triangle of disease is where the body breaks down. Whatever your disease process is, work backwards. Thyroid adrenal. How do you handle thyroid adrenal? Breathe, relax, salt, essential uh, uh, colloidal minerals. Zinc, vitamin C, beyond tangy tangerine. Work on your blood sugar system. How do you handle your blood sugar system? I, there's a diabetic in this room I was talking to earlier. Was that you? The insulin. The easiest thing Doc says to people. He says, I'm going to reverse your diabetes. It's going to disappear. And they're oh, how can he say that? He can't say that. Yes, he can. I'm saying it. It's easy. Change your diet. Add the, uh, the sweeties to your healthy star pack. Your blood sugar will drop in less than a week. In less than a week, your blood sugar will drop. And it's not a miracle. You'll think it's a miracle. Your doctor will say it's a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's just the way the body works. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. I want to stay, I want to stay and take questions. I want to stay and take questions because I want, I want you guys, because I left time here intentionally, because I don't want to be the expert. I don't want to be the expert. I want you to be the expert. And I want to take a disease, and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you how you take a disease that seems like it's completely separate from the triangle and it has nothing to do with cells, it has nothing to do with raisins, breads. It's my bones. It's my bones. I'm going to show you how it has to do with all of the things we talked about and how it has to do with nutritional supplementation. But I want you guys to hear, I want you to see how we work here so you can do this for your friends, you can do this for your family, you can do it for yourself and your kids and anybody else you know. Yes, ma'am. Um, I want to ask about, um, I, got, I was run over last month, November, and I got a concussion and a broken arm. And so they did a CT scan and it showed calcification of something in there. Okay, now here's... Pre-existing, pre-existing. Okay, so I don't want to talk about break, I don't want to talk about trauma, although we'll talk about the calcification here in a second. Yeah. One of the ways we die is we calcify. Your heart calcifies. Your brain calcifies, your kidneys calcify, your soft tissue calcifies. What does it mean to calcify? Turn to stone. Calcium begins to deposit. How metaphorical is that? Our hearts turn to stone, FYI. <laughs> right? That's how we die. Our hearts turn to stone. They calcify. So how does, how does this happen? Well, calcium is a very, 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 very complex mineral. It's involved in electrical energy and it's involved in building energy. And it's, it's uh, flow from the blood into cells and some cells into the blood into the digestive tract into the cells and digestive tract into the blood is tightly, tightly, tightly regulated. So when you calcify, when you calcify, something is going wrong with the chemistry of your body. It's not a calcium issue, it's a chemistry issue. So say, what's going wrong with the chemistry of your body? What chemicals are involved in calcium absorption? Well, the first chemical, the first chemical that goes awry is the most common and the, the first chemical uh, place in the body you want to look at to heal the body. The first chemical entity in the body you want to look at, and that's insulin. Once insulin metabolism is thrown off, everything is thrown off. So the first place you want to work with calcification, with a thyroid problem, with anything else from a metabolic issue, and this is after the digestive process, and actually I shouldn't even say that, because where's calcium absorbed? In the gut. So you first thing you want to do is work with your gut, okay? And by the way, I'm not even going to say that anymore. First thing you work is the gut. You guys know this? First thing you work is the gut. Always first thing you work. But then the blood sugar issue. Work on the blood sugar for calcium. Let's go back to our triangle of disease. Once your insulin is thrown off, your ability to process minerals, your ability to utilize minerals at the cell level will be thrown off. Focus on insulin. Calcium, 
Metabolic issues of all kinds, but calcium is very common. Focus on insulin, lowering insulin. How do you lower insulin? How do you lower insulin? Stop eating sugar, but especially stop eating the disguised forms of sugar. Most people know enough about sugar. Pasta, rice, starch, potatoes, fruit juice, all of those places. Okay. Secondly, there's supplements that you could take to make sure that you're processing calcium correctly. Uh, vitamin K is probably one of the most important for processing calcium. Make sure you're on 100 micrograms of vitamin K. Get on the Ultimate Daily, which is a good source of vitamin K. Uh, green leafy vegetables, another good source of vitamin K. Anything you could do to keep calcium in the bones is going to be in your interest. Last thing for calcification of tissue, uh, calcium is a one of the uh, calcium in the blood is one of the ways the body neutralizes acid. Acid is a toxin. When I said detoxify, I didn't tell you it was acid that the body's detoxifying. So when you have calcium leaving your bones, it's one of the ways the body's attempting to neutralize acid, which is a toxin. Help your body remove toxins. How do you help your body remove toxins? Deep breathing, exhaling. Um, uh, was that you talking about radiation? Was that you earlier? Make sure that you're using bentonite clay, zeolite clay, get on selenium. Oh, any kind of toxification. Radiation, some people were here were asking about radiation. Selenium is one of the most powerful chelating agents you'll ever use. Get on selenium. And by the way, I didn't tell you about selenium. We talked about algae. Get on selenium. It's a wonderful one. Absolute calcification. We reverse. Now, here's the thing about reversal. Okay? Here's the thing about reversal, people, because this is important. Everyone's going to be like, well, he said reversal. I'm going to reverse. I didn't reverse. Reversal takes time. It will begin to reverse this minute you make a decision. But the reversal process, depending on how far down the rabbit hole you are, is going to take some time. But you have to understand this, not because I'm telling you this. Not because I'm saying this. Not because you heard me say this. You have to understand this at a gut level, at a visceral level. It's your body's healing nature. Your body is designed to heal. Do you understand this? It's not me just telling you. You have to buy into this uh, uh, philosophically. Philosophically, you have to say, okay, I'm a healing system. I'm not healing. Something's wrong. If you go into it saying, I'm not a healing system, not, then you don't have an option. Then you can have to be fit. You, then you have to be cut or you have to be drugged or you have to be somehow sustained for the last 20 or 30 years of your life. But if you say, if you understand, did I sell you on this idea that your body's a healing system? If you know that your body's a healing system, then it becomes, how do I access it? Okay, you see the difference? Yes, ma'am, Brandy. Uh, okay. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how, though. Healthy Star Pack. Healthy Star Pack. Healthy Star Pack. Healthy Star Pack. Thank you. Yes. You're, listen, nutritional supplementation is not an option. It's the cost of doing business for being a human. It's the cost of doing business for maximizing your human potential. If you think you can get it from food, good luck. It's not going to happen. Nutritional supplementation is the cost of doing business of being human. And there's no better nutritional supplement program than you can find in the Healthy Start Pack, which is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, my personal favorite, the essential fatty acids, and the OsteoFX. And ask Andy about it. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Connie Reeder, and my husband, Don, will be here tonight, and he wasn't feeling well. Okay. Immune system. What does the immune system mean? Absorption. No, it doesn't mean absorption. What? Say it louder. Anytime you have allergies, anytime you have uh, leakages, anytime something is expanding in the body, what you're dealing with is a stressed out immune system and your immune system is your defense system. If you have a defensive reaction, what is that telling you? Something is getting into the body. Anytime something is getting into the body, this is true about autoimmune disease and this is true about any kind of immune, immune health issue, anytime something is getting into the body, there's only three places, the body's a closed system, there's only three places something gets into the body. Through the skin, rarely, you have to have a very serious burn or something, or cut. Through the nose, occasionally, 80% of your immune system, your defense system, is located in this third point of entry, which is the mouth. Always focus on the mouth. And then focus on patching up the gut. Get on the Z, have him, is he on the Z radical? Z radical, glucogel, digestive enzymes. Do you guys know about this product called Z radical? Holy moly. Seaweed, seaweed, and uh, algaes 
contain these powerful sugar materials that are unbelievable for the immune system. They're called polysaccharides. You probably have heard the term complex sugars, polysaccharides. The Z radical polysaccharide dense, dense polysaccharides for the